United States President Donald Trump has said that protecting American lives is his topmost priority at the moment. His statement comes in the backdrop of Hurricane Harvey that is wreaking havoc in southern Texas. Right now, the single most important thing is the safety and security of those still in harm's way, including the first responders who have been so terrific and brave. Protecting the lives of our people is my highest priority. Oil prices in the United States are set to rise in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. Ten refineries, representing over 15% of the nation's refining capacity, have been shut down due to the storm. Britain and the European Union have begun their third round of Brexit talks. The talks look forward to discuss the future of the relationship, but Brussels is demanding more clarity on the terms of the Brexit agreement. United States President Donald Trump has said that his country stands with Finland in its fight against terrorism. Trump made the statement at a White House news conference after his meeting with Finnish President Sauli Ninisto. French President Emmanuel Macron called for stricter measures to be taken against illegal immigrants from Africa to Europe. Macron was speaking at a migration summit in Paris. 128 migrants were rescued off the Libyan coast west of Tripoli by the Libyan Coast Guard. The migrants were found drifting 20 kilometers from the coast. Thousands of Rohingyas fleeing from Myanmar forced their way into Bangladesh after coming under fire from the Myanmari soldiers. The villagers seeking refuge from the ongoing violence had been stranded at the Bangladesh border for the last two days. Unknown individuals set fire to more than two dozen trucks in southern Chile. The attack took place 800 kilometers south of the capital city of Santiago. Venezuela would be regulating the use of social media in the country as part of its strategy to fight the psychological war launched by the United States and the opposition countries. The National Constituent Assembly President Delcy Rodriguez said that the government will regulate companies providing social messaging services.